YouTube, how are you now? So BattleBit Remastered just did a new update, update 2.2, along with their free-to-play weekend. Um, free-to-play from now through, I believe, December 3rd or 4th. So a few days free-to-play. Um, so we're just going to be going over some of the weapon changes. They added a new gun, the RPK-16 RPK light support gun, and then they made some changes to some of the weapons as well. So we're just going to be going over the weapon balancing changes in this time to kill chart here. But they made quite a few other changes as well. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the uh, patch notes. Um, I'll leave a link in the comment section as, as well as a link to this spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet is basically just a time to kill chart. So it has all the weapons, um, their damage, and also the damages for the attachments that change their damage. So there's a couple barrels that increase the damage and there's a barrel that decreases the damage. So it shows all the damages there, their rate of fire, uh, their DPS, so damage per second, bullets to kill. So 100 health, 112, 125, 143, 162 for all the armor types. And then you have your time to kill values here. So time to kill is in milliseconds. The fastest time to kill is gonna be red. Uh, within 50 milliseconds of the fastest time to kill is gonna be orange. Within 100 milliseconds is yellow, 150, light green, 200, dark green, so on and so forth, uh, all the way through. So, just helps me um, to have this time to kill chart here with all the values so I can kind of see how the guns perform. So, I can select certain weapons or use the weapons how they're meant to be used to get the most out of them. So, let's go over the RPK 16 first. So, that's the new light support gun they just added. Uh, does 32 damage, has 680 rounds per minute fire rate. So same damage values as the L86A1 currently since they buffed the L86A1, um, but the L86A1 has a faster fire rate at 775. So it's basically a slightly slower killing gun as the L86A1, but L86A1 has quite a bit of side-to-side -side recoil. RPK-16 pretty much just has vertical recoil. It does have a little bit of side-to-side -side at those longer ranges, but I think it's more manageable than the L86A1. So depends what you prefer, either the fastest time to kill potential possible or a little bit easier to use gun with slightly slower time to kill. So still has really good time to kill values, especially if you have the damage increasing barrel. So then you're within 50 milliseconds of the L86A1 at every, every armor type. So... A little bit slower uh, with the other other barrels, so either the standard barrels or the damage decreasing barrel uh, against 100 health and then against 162 health, but still pretty good gun. Um, comparable to, so like the FAL was one of the best guns, time to kill wise, 185, 277. So actually faster against 100 health if you have that damage increasing barrel. Uh, slower here, slower here, slower, slower, but not by a whole lot. So. 185 to 265 is 80 milliseconds, and then 277 is what? Another 80 milliseconds, so about 80 milliseconds within 80 milliseconds of the fastest time to kill gun, so not too bad. Not the greatest, but still still pretty decent, especially for an LMG, so that's the RPK-16, so let's just go through the patch notes now, cover the weapon balancing, so the L86A1, they added a bipod, Damage increased from 31 to 32. So the numbers that changed, if they got a buff, the numbers are going to be in red. And then if it affects anything here, it's going to be in red as well. So you can kind of keep track of what changed. If it was a nerf, it'll be in gray, but there was only one nerf. So 31 to 32. So that makes the damage increasing barrel a three shot to kill against 100, 100 health because it increases the damage to 33.6 if you're using a damage increasing barrel. So that wasn't possible before, um, but now it is. So this makes 100 health lightning fast, 155. That's pretty much the fastest time to kill other than the Scorpion Evo within five milliseconds of the Scorpion Evo at 100 health. So that's very, very fast. Uh, it also improves against 125 health. So that's basically medic armor, which is the most played class in the game. So you get four shots to kill here, four shots to kill here. It used to be five shots to kill. That improves the time to kill there considerably as well. Uh, and those, those are the changes that it makes. So these are your time to kill changes here. So that makes the damage increasing barrels the best in the LMG class by far, but everything else is pretty good too. So this used to be 310, 310. So it wasn't nearly as good, but now it 
all the all the barrels are pretty good especially against 125 which is the most common armor you're going to find in the game pretty good gun now it was a decent gun before but definitely a lot better now uh, they increased light vehicle damage from 4 to 6 velocity increased from 650 to 700 ADS time lowered from 0.3 seconds to 0.24 seconds running speed increased from 0.95 to 0.975 so buffs all across the board definitely more usable now MG36 they added a bipod light vehicle damage increased from 4 to 7 vertical recoil lowered from 1.8 to 1.6 velocity increased from 600 to 680 ADS time lowered from 0.3 seconds to 0.24 seconds running speed increased from 0.95 to 0.975 reload speed increased from 1 to 1.15 so that makes 4.73 seconds to 4.12 seconds so no damage changes there but similar buffs uh, to the L8 L86A1, so lower recoil, better bullet velocity, faster, faster handling, and speed. M249 damage increase from 30 to 31, so damage increase there. It didn't change any of uh, the bullets to kill except if you're using the damage increasing barrel against 162 health, so that's the highest armor you can possibly have. That changes from six shots to five shots. That makes this used to be 429 milliseconds now it's 343 so that just makes the damage increasing barrel that much better so it was good best bet uh, across the board as many uh, health values as you can but definitely adds even more so only similar against 100 health but everything else is much better what else we got light vehicle damage increase from 3 to 6 velocity increase from 600 to 690 Ultimax 100 velocity increase from 600 to 700, so no damage changes there. AK-74 damage increased from 31 to 32, so that changed shots to kill. So if you're using a damage increasing barrel, that allows you to get a three-shot kill if you're using one of the damage increasing barrels. So that makes a lightning fast time to kill. That's the fastest in the uh, assault rifle section now. So it used to be the FAL at 185, now it's the AK-74 with a damage increasing barrel at 179 milliseconds against 100 health. It also makes against 125 health, four shots, four shots where these used to be five shots. So that makes 269, 269. So these used to be 358. So a little slower there, but now it's better overall. And that damage increasing one is pretty good. So it's the best against 100, 100 health. Uh, it's decent against the other, the other health. Light vehicle damage increased from four to six. Vertical recoil lowered from 1.5 to 1.4. Horizontal recoil increased from 0.6 to 0.8. Velocity increased from 700 to 720. ADS time lowered from 0.25 seconds to 0.23 seconds. Reload speed increased from 1 to 1.1. So 4 seconds to 3.64 seconds. So a little bit less vertical recoil, but a little bit more horizontal recoil. So negligible change there, um, but it does have more damage potential. It's just that horizontal recoil is something you can't really account for so that may maybe get a little bit harder to use but definitely has more pure time to kill potential than it used to still still mid-tier though except against 100 health so if everybody has 100 health then it's an, a beast but if they have any armor at all it's mid-tier for assault rifles m4a1 light vehicle damage increased from 4 to 5 vertical recoil lowered from 1.5 to 1.4 horizontal recoil increased from 0.6 to 0.7 Reload speed increased from 1 to 1.1, 4.17 seconds to 3.79 seconds. So, neg little change there. M4 is still probably about the same. ACR damage increased from 27 to 28. So, ACR here, that makes uh, four shots to kill against 112. So, that's like sniper armor. It used to be five shots, so 257 instead of 343. Um, also makes five shots to kill against 143 armor if you're using a damage increasing barrel whereas this used to be six shots so 343 milliseconds instead of 429 and also makes a six shot against 162 armor if you're using the damage decreasing barrel so this used to be higher like 500 something now it's 429 so in line with the other the other barrels but it still hurts you uh, against 112 if you're using a damage decreasing barrel so makes it a little bit better still not still not that great overall definitely damage increasing barrels you're going to be your best bet as far as pure time to kill values 
because uh, you get a faster time to kill against 143, but everything else pretty much the same there. Slightly better, but still probably not, not the greatest. Light vehicle damage increased from 2 to 4, vertical recoil lowered from 1.4 to 1.3, horizontal recoil lowered from 0.8 to 0.7, so recoil lowered across the board, that's good. Should see an improvement there, more usability. ADS time lowered from 0.21 to, 1, to 0.18 seconds, very fast ADS. Reload speed increased from 1 to 1.1, so 3.73 seconds to 3.39 seconds, so definitely more usable. Still not the best for pure time to kill, but should be a lot better than it was before if you if you liked using it. G36C damage increased from 30 to 31. Whoops, don't do that. So didn't change any of the uh, the bullets to kill except if you're using a damage increasing barrel against what? Well, how about 162? So used to be six shots, now it's five shots. So it used to be 400 milliseconds, now it's 320 milliseconds. So that damage increasing barrel is going to make it the best bet across the board. So Save 120 milliseconds against 162 armor and save 80 milliseconds against 125 armor. So improve there. Uh, still still not the best. Still mid-tier, but that's compared to the FAL. So the FAL is a monster, but it also has pretty monster recoil. So G36C is definitely a lot more in there now. And the horizontal recoil has decreased a little bit too. So light increased light damage increase from 2 to 5, horizontal recoil decrease from 0.84 to 0.8, so very small change there but a little bit. Velocity increase from 600 to 660, ADS time lowered from 0.25 seconds to 0.23 seconds, so yeah. Little buffs there, but definitely helps out that uh, that damage increasing barrel. HK419 got a slight nerf, so damage lowered from 31 to 30, so that only affects the damage increasing barrel, so it changes against 162 health from five shots. It used to be five shots, now it's six shots. So it used to be 291 milliseconds, now it's 364. So it used to be orange all the way across the board. Really good gun. So now it's just one one more shot to kill against 162 health if you're using the damage increasing barrel. But still one of the best guns out there. Just not as good as it was before because if they have the highest armor possible, it's going to take an extra shot to kill, which is roughly what, 73 more milliseconds? So you might lose a little bit more fights against those high armor people, but not a whole lot of change. Light damage lowered from 6 to 5, ADS time lowered from 0.25 seconds to 0.23 seconds. So not a whole lot of difference there. HK419 is still, still a monster. AK5C, light damage increased from 4 to 6, vertical recoil lowered from 1.6 to 1.5, horizontal recoil lowered from 1.4 to 1.3, ADS time lowered from 0.24 seconds to 0.23 seconds, reload speed increased from 1.125 to 1.3, so 4.53 seconds to 3.92 seconds. So no changes to damage there, just buffs. So less recoil across the board. It still has pretty high horizontal recoil though, so but better than it was before. F2000, so that was a new gun they added on the last update. Damage increased from 23 to 24. So that actually changes quite a bit. So you get four shots to kill here instead of five if you're using damage increasing barrel. Five shots to kill here against 125 if you're using damage increasing barrel. And then it also makes this six shots to kill where it used to be seven, and this seven shots where it used to be eight. So improves your time to kills here, improves your time to kill here, and here. So these weren't that great, so it's more more mid-tier now. It was, it was pretty bad before. Um, so now the base gun is better. Still not the greatest, uh, especially at 125, but better than it was. And then if you're using a damage increasing barrel, it makes it a lot better. So really good here, decent here. Not the greatest there, but still still usable. And it has low recoil in it, a high fire rate. So velocity increase from 700 to 710. Damage fall off start increase from 50 to 75 meters. So more range to it too. So Definitely more usable. Still probably not the best, but definitely better than it was. So I was, I was pretty disappointed that how bad it was when they first introduced it. So makes it more usable. Definitely worth checking out. AUG A3, light damage lowered from 12 to 6, so no change there as far as time to kill goes. SG550, damage increased from 27 to 29. So we got 29 here. So that changes against 112 from 5 shots to 4 shots. Same with the damage decreasing barrel. Um, 
then at 143 armor from six shots to five shots, six shots to five shots, and then if you're using a damage decreasing barrel, this used to be seven shots, now it's six shots. So it improves here, improves here, improves here, improves here, improves here. So that makes the SG550 a lot better, more mid tier. Uh, if you're using either the regular barrel or the damage increasing barrels, uh, you're going to suffer a little bit against 143 if you're using a damage decreasing barrel, but that's your lowest recoil attachment, so it might be worth it. It's not a huge penalty. Uh, still in line with that, but definitely makes it better. Still not the best, but more in line with some of the other guns, about mid-tier. And if you liked using it before, it's definitely better now. Light damage increased from 4 to 5. Velocity increased from 640 to 680. Fire rate lowered. Oh, shoot, from 700 to 670. So that actually affects time to kill. I'll have to recalculate that. <laughs> I didn't read that part, so that's going to make it slightly slower time to kills there. ADS time increased from 1.14 to 0.15 seconds. So 670, let's see if there's any other 670s here with similar 670. Is that the same damage? SG550? No, it's less damage. So so four shots to kill would be 269 instead of 257. Um, 358 instead of 343. 448 instead of 429. So those are your those are going to be your new time to kills. Basically, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. So I'll have to make those changes, but we'll do that slightly. I don't think that really changes. Um, the actual how far they are off the 358 compared to 185. No, I don't think that it really affects anything. So, still the same there. It's just slightly slower killing. FAMAS light damage increased from 0 to 4. Horizontal lo lowered. Horizontal recoil lowered from 1 to 0.9. Velocity increased from 600 to 640. ADS time lowered from 0.25 seconds to 0.2 seconds. So, no changes there to time to kill. So, yeah. Got to change that, but here's all the values uh, for all the guns. If you want to look at them real quick. They're basically just compared with each class. So ARs are compared with ARs, assault rifles. Um, SMGs are also compared with the... What are these? What do they call these? PDWs? Yeah, something like that. And also the AS Valon Scorpion U, so there's not that many of those. LMGs are compared with LMGs, and then you got your marksmen, and then your, your pistols here. So they're all compared with each other. Uh, so there's just too many to look at when you're trying to compare all across the board. So yeah, but yeah, that's it. A lot of changes. Uh, definitely shakes things up, makes a lot of the guns more usable. So if you liked them before, uh, definitely better now. Definitely some of them worth checking out. If you didn't check them out before or weren't a fan before, so definitely that F2000 is more in there now and some of the other guns as well. So good stuff. HK419 still, still a monster. It's just not as good as it was against 162 armor there. But yeah. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave those links to the patch notes and this spreadsheet. Always making changes, not always making videos based on those changes, but any update that does a lot of weapon balancing, I'll, I'll do a new video. So I'll leave it in the description as well, but the description doesn't allow links for some reason because I have to verify my channel or whatever, but <laughs> it works in the comments. So I'll just post a comment with the, with the links as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.